them in the right place in the article. Spring equinox on the 21st or 22nd of March. The overhead sun is over the equator. The equator receives the largest amount of solar radiation. At this time, the northern hemisphere is in the spring equinox, while the southern hemisphere is in the autumn equinox. The angle of the sun decreases towards the poles. On this day, the two hemispheres receive a similar amount of solar radiation, and the length of day and night is the same at all places on the Earth. After this day, it is spring in the northern hemisphere, when the day is longer than the night. In the southern hemisphere, it becomes autumn, when the day is shorter than the night. We can check how to complete it with the sentence number one, so that uh, something of the earth is imaginary line. So then what do you think it would be the best word from the box? The axis. Mm -hmm. The axis of the earth's imaginary line. The axial tilt is in angle of 23 and a half degrees. Okay. The sun rays shine directly on the equator. So then the equator receives do you have an idea of what would be the best word? Okay. Largest. Mm -hmm. Largest amount of solar radiation. Then uh, the next word is, uh, or the next sentences uh, are about hemisphere. So then the first hemisphere is Northern. 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 Yeah? So northern hemisphere is in the spring equinox and the opposite northern is southern hemisphere is in the autumn hemisphere equinox, sorry. Okay. And number four, so then the exercise which is in this worksheet as well. And you can see there a picture and it's necessary. You can see there for bubbles. Yeah. And you have to match the bubbles with four expressions. And the expressions are uh, spring equinox, autumn equinox, then summer solstice and winter.